This is an overview of how to use the PowerShell task, which is part of Task Factory. You can see here I have the UI open, and what I'm looking at here is how you can create your script. It's easy enough that if you have a script already that's existing, you can copy and paste it in here. But one advantage of using the PowerShell script here is the ability to use variable replacements. So if you are executing this inside of some sort of loop or anything like that, or if it's a package that has some other data flow or control flow task setting variables that eventually get used by your PowerShell script, you can do that right here. Now you can see right here, this is the token that gets replaced. Now the cool thing about it is that if you are writing your code in here and you just start typing in left angle bracket ampersand, you're going to get a list of all of the variables that are available. So you can see that this is an easy way that you can define and create your script right here. Right here what we have is the object variable to save the execution results to. Now what happens is that when you call something like get service that will return a collection of what are PS objects and we'll see an example of what gets returned here in a minute in the script task, you can save the result of the execution of this PowerShell command to that variable. Now it has to be an object variable because we, later on if you want to use that you have to cast it back as a collection. And we're going to see that here in a second. But the cool thing too is that this is a very easy to debug your script as well. So if you've written your script and you've made changes and you're ready to go, you can click on test script. And what happens here is that we get the output, which is just the result of something like write warning or any content that comes from the execution gets sent here. Now this is the actual result of the execution. So what we see here is we have a date here that got sent back. We have a date and then here is all of our services, right? So when I call get service, it sets all of these services right here. Now, when you do set that variable and it gets set down the line from that, it can be used. So if we take a look at the script task here, you'll see how you can take that variable, convert it to a collection of PS objects and then use it however you want. So if we scroll down a bit right here, you can see here that here is my variable and I'm taking that and I am converting it to an I collection of PS object. So inside of the PowerShell task, when we write the object variable, we do it as a collection of PS object. And then what we're going to do is go through each one of those results coming from the collection and we're going to write it out to the execution results. So let's go ahead and close this down and let's go ahead and run it. And what we're going to see is in the execution results, we get our results. And so there we go. And that is how you use the PowerShell task.